There is but one punishment for traitors. Hello everybody, welcome to another Gwentcast. My I'm name is Ham Wolf, and I will be your host today. So we're going to have a Nilfgaard on Nilfgaard matchup. I'd like to thank user Garland for submitting this video. If you have a video that you'd like to submit of a game that you've played, you can go ahead and send a link over to hamwolfgwent at gmail.com. So the the key cards that Garland's going to have to look out for are Avalok and Alba Spearman. Luckily, with the gold immunity patch, the spice deck got a little bit more interaction via Infiltrator and the new bronze spying unit, Assassin. So, Assassin's a one-powered spying unit that will deal damage to the unit to the left equal to its base power, but no more than 10. So, the, the important thing about that is that gives us a way to deal with Alba Spearman, and it gives us a way to deal with Avalok, whether Avalok's in the gold state or the silver state. We'll see how the Spice player wants to respond to this cow carcass. A shame I have no time. The first scene, Emissary, likely for Brigade, as Vigo Varo, Medic, does not do anything quite yet, as our opponent has nothing in the graveyard. No message. Alba Spearman coming down. This was one of the key cards that we were looking out for, so we'll see if... Garland wants to commit assassin here, or if he wants to deal with the uh, Rot Tosser Carcass via a gold card in Village Forts. So we will go ahead and see Village Forts come down and An eat the Cow Carcass. Choice. Let's see what we pull. And drum roll. Ox. Ox is Sometimes really, really good. That will give us the option to lock up the Alba Spearman. Again, as long as we're dealing with the Alba Spearman, we'll, we'll be in really good shape, but trouble striking back with an Ox of his own, shutting down both our Enforcers and unlocking his Spearman. That's a huge tempo swing as this game goes on. I assume that we'll likely see Cantarella here. I shall be your eyes, my lord. Cantarella's this is a good spot to, to play the Cantarella because do it doesn't put do? our opponent too far ahead of us that we can't come back in one card. So we'll see Stefan Skellen come down, a gold committed from both players. Drawing a Sire off a of Cantarella is really, really strong here as Sire is very important for this matchup. It gives, it gives the Spice player an extra two cards against the mill deck, which is very strong. We'll see Infiltrator come down. The Infiltrator I will come down and toggle Alba Spearman. Most likely, I don't really see another target. No, we want to target the Alba Spearman because we have Menno in our deck. Menno, of course, just comes down and destroys a unit if it's spying. There's been a mistake. I, I don't really make. see a reason to use Ox here. Now, notably, we don't have Menno in hand, so it might not be that big of a deal, but we might see a Menno here. Now, we're really seeing that Infiltrator come back to bite Garland in the butt here. Now, you can see him. I, I can tell. I can... While I can't physically see Garland at his computer, I can, I can imagine him just thinking about, you know, why did an eye just use Infiltrator to target the Spearman here. But it's not so, so bad as that'll be a 19-point swing by destroying Cantarella. We'll see Avalok come down. And look at the Spearman just getting out of control 13 power already. Notably, since Avalok is boosted, it cannot be assassinated. As good as dead, and I don't know if I like this because Emir's just going to go ahead and pick up that Avalok, I think. You wish. Okay, here, same thing. Oof. Unfortunate. That assassin going to waste simply just giving the opponent one power. And now that Avalok is safe in the mill player's hand, we may have a lot of trouble coming back here. And I don't hate a pass here, but 
generally speaking, you want to try to win round one against the Mildad. That'll give you a chance to pace round two in case you need to just try to win 2-0, which is a really good strategy against the mill deck as you I don't have miss. to go to that last draw step where mill can get a plus one card advantage value potentially. So we'll see Vilge Forts come down for the mill player. Now keep in mind that both players have committed three golds to the board. The Spires player has committed their leader. The mill player hasn't yet committed his leader, but still, if you want to call the leader a gold card, we've committed a similar amount of golds to the board. But, the Spires player has committed three of his six engine cards to the board already, which may prove fateful in the later rounds. So now toggling the spying status only matters for the Nausicaa Brigade, which will deal 7 to a unit if it's spying. So I may have liked to see something with more than 7 power get toggled here, just in case. Now normally you want something that you can kill off of the... off of the Nausicaa Brigade anyway, but we already had Ox for that, so... Ox would have been maximum value for the Nausicaa Brigade. There was no reason to target the Foot Soldier, I think. I guess in case we draw another Nausicaa Brigade, we'll have the option to the shoot down the Darling Foot Soldiers. And of course, we'll see Avalok come down here, and we'll see Avalok be picked up by the leader. And now we're really seeing how punishing it was not to deal with either the Alba Spearman or the Avalok. So, if you look at how many points the Spice player is ahead, you might think, well, the Mill player is not going to be able to put 16 points on the board. They're going to have to go down maybe another two cards and be three cards down going into round two. Here's the thing, the Mill deck doesn't care because the Mill deck can make all those cards back via the Mill effect. So if the mill player just goes off lock into decoy into we got a new card a new bronze card that's the name is escaping me right now but it'll draw a card off of your own deck and draw a copy of a bronze card from your opponent's deck but if your opponent's deck doesn't have any bronze cards you just get to draw a card so we will see a pass here and we'll see if the no player wants to go down two cards. Three cards total. To win the round. And, and the no player does it. No player says, let's just go to round two. Let's fight there. So, Vicovaro Medic is going to be okay here. Uh, resurrecting a Spearman is not too bad because it does, most of the mill effects work both ways by making both players draw cards, and even if just one player draws a card, the, the Alba Spearman goes off regardless, so we can look at the Vico Varo Medic as a way to cancel an opposing Alba Spearman because they'll always be the same power. Okay, we find an Impera Brigade. It would be really nice if we could find what is it now? Uh, our Hoakim, which I'm sure we'll we'll be able to get off of Avalok. And That's I'm assuming so that that Garland's yeah. going to fight as good as all the way through what this round as hard as he can, dealing with the Alba Spearmen as fast as possible. So, I don't like resurrecting Assassin here, I think. Ox is already down. I think just resurrecting a Spearman would be fine. Lost. And here we go. Avalok milling the Spice player down to zero cards. Any draw effect that happens from here on out will be card advantage for the mill player. The mill player getting his plan off as best he can. And here we go. Two cards coming from this Avalok. Zero cards for the Spies player. 
Things are getting a little bit hairy as Assassin no longer deals with Avalok. Our Emissary is dead because we have no cards left, although we can shuffle cards back with a Sire, but we need to keep in mind that our opponent has a few more draw effects, so we may not want to be putting Bronzes back in our deck. Let's see what the Spice player comes up with here. Looking through his graveyard, possibly looking to play a Sire here. See rain farm come down for no value, and this is really where the mill deck shines. All these cards that look through the library and and draw cards are going to be useless for the spice player having zero cards in their deck. Greetings. What so is we'll it? see. Quiet. The commissar will hear. Alchemist come down revealing a foot soldiers. And notably our Hoakim is dead, and that's a huge finisher for the Spies deck. We'll see if the Spies player can crawl back for a victory. It's not looking pretty. Looking for Sire targets. We'll just go ahead and lead with Nausicaa Brigade. Yes, what is it? opponent a little bit confused about which ox is theirs I think so I think if our opponent assires here if you're the spice player you really need to be thinking about playing the assire of your own because it feels like the mill player is getting ready to draw some more cards so I think if there was an opportunity to play assire it needs to be now and we'll see what the Spice player ops to do. I don't hate this play either. Mm, a highly curious case. Duke of Aromatic pulls Alba Spearman. Or an assassin. I think I like pulling Spearman though. Spearman helps with the tempo a little bit. I think Spearman would have actually been worth more than nine. So. As Assassin only got 9 points, 10 from destroying the Sire, but giving them 1 point from the Spying Unit. And here we see the uh, brand new card from, from the Gold Immunity Patch, Magna Division. And this card has helped out the, the mill deck a lot, because if your opponent doesn't have cards to draw... This is just a 7-powered bronze unit that draws the mill deck card. So we'll see that not playing a Sire in that round in the uh, previous turn is going to come back to haunt our Spies player. And this cow carcass is going to be a little bit difficult to deal with. And not a bad draw off a Hoa game. That means that we'll have a Nausicaa Brigade in our deck still. Dematerium Shackles coming down, not really doing too, too much. Unfortunately, it looks like this Emissary is only going to be a break-even play as it'll pump the brigade by two. Please wait, your excellency. I'm and falling get behind. The Nausicaa brigade up our deck. Actually I did not know that Nausicaa Brigade can target spying Sorry. units on your own side of the battlefield, so that's that's a really strong play here. So we'll see Kahir come down and do nothing. As you wish. Just a four power goalie unit. Very, very, very strong, right? Okay. And we'll see Hailstorm come down on the middle row for a cool 14 points. 15 points? 15 points. 
We'll see if the mill player can overcome 32 points with whatever resources they have left in their hand. That doesn't seem like it's impossible to me, but it seems like the mill player doesn't have access to any more Alba Spearmen, which is a lot of their power, so we'll see if that can change here. Decoy on Avalok draws the last card for the mill player. The mill player... That's interesting, it says that they have one card left, but it, it didn't draw them a card. So, thank you everybody for watching. If you have a video that you'd like to submit, go ahead and submit that over to hamwolfquint at gmail.com. Um, this is Hamwolf, signing off.